What's going on? My reefing fan, March here, Frag Box TV. Today's episode is going to be all about not you. Sorry, Mister. I know you want love and attention. No, 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 no. Today's a vlog. Vlog update. Let's do it. Okay. You tell me why you're mad at me, and I'll tell you why I'm mad at you. Uh, Mark? Hold on, you won't be able to hear without the microphone. I'm mad at Tia, and Tia's mad at me. Why? Marsh told me about a ghost story that was, happened to be true, okay. and I dreamt about the demon. Oh. And <laughs> it was terrifying. I had a very scary dream. And I didn't even tell you the real, the whole story. You didn't, and I just dreamt. I think I made it up myself, and wow. it, it was a bad sleep. Yeah. So, wait, so you're mad at me because you got scared of your dreams about a demon? That you told me about, yeah. Okay, you want to know, you you know why I'm mad at you? Maybe. Well, let me put this microphone on. Why? I'm still mad at you. Why? Tia, Tia was very mean in my dreams last Last night and then I come to work I'm like I don't want to talk to Tia. Uh, question of the day does that ever happen to you where you dream of somebody and then you're, at, you're like they didn't do anything but you're pissed off at them in real life okay so last night we're here in the store I dream of uh, the store sometimes yeah. um, you decided for whatever reason that you didn't like our very organized number system that I took a long time <laughs> and you oh you just started you moved everything for no reason you just started like you took all the corals you wanted to move and for whatever reason, you just, oh, I want to swear so bad. You you just destroyed the whole system. And I kept asking like, Tia, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, you know, it's okay, Mark. Don't, I'm like, I put a lot of time into this. What? I got so angry at you. And I actually walked out of the store. I'm like, I'm not hand, I can't take this. And I left. Really? Yeah, I'm still mad. I would never do that to you. Yeah, I'm still mad. I'm, I'll get over it, but. I couldn't understand why you were moving them. This system's so good. What did I move yesterday that you didn't like? Everything. You just decided this tank is Tia, uh, it's a Tia free for all. I'm going to take everything. Uh, this hammer isn't here anymore. And it's in number one. Yeah, and yeah. you were just screwing with me. And we keep this tank pretty organized, like so that if you order something online, this is Zoanthid number 22. So if you order number 22, you're going to get that exact piece right there. We know easily, you know, that which exact coral you ordered because sometimes um, they can kind of look the same for example okay over here these are pretty similar but if you order one instead of the other how would you tell the difference so these these little numbers um, that Tia decided to go rampage on last night okay I think you're projecting on me in your dreams I think we should stop pissing each other off in our dreams um, that's a good way to start our vlog we're upset with each other you know what we're not we all get along here yeah for the most part Sometimes I think you guys want to kill me, but <laughs> for the most part, it's nice to work with people you like. I can't imagine not work. I can't imagine having coworkers um, that suck. Hey, yeah. yeah, that would suck to go to work and then have to see somebody every day that you can't tolerate. We don't have that problem here. Okay, let's not talk about that today. Let's do a vlog update. Hey there, big box. <laughs> they did not want. To they don't want to talk to you. Oh. I just wanted to record Tia's um, customer service on the phone because it's very good. She is actually an inspiration for all of us here. Like sometimes, uh, you know what? We're not always in the mood. You know, you have your days, right? Sometimes you have your days. Well, I mean, not you, me and the rest of us, the, the guys that work here, you have your days. And um, sometimes I'll get off the phone and Tia will go, March, was that the best service you could have given? Yeah? yeah? Do you not say that? Yeah, she keeps us in line. She's our customer service police, keeps us in check. And uh, I really appreciate that. I think it helps keep, uh, distinguishes us from some of the other, other stores and businesses because that's what we strive to do is always give, give our best, um, even when we are not in the mood, right? Or we're, we're having a grumpy day. Yeah, you're, I think everyone's entitled to grumpy days. Vlog update number one. Tia has this used sump that she was using at home, I think for a year or two, it's an eShops, it's called an RS200. So if you're local and you're looking for a crazy deal on uh, a sump, check it out online. If you're looking for the dimensions, it's RS200. Um, it has a built-in fuge section, skimmer section, sorry. Fuge, skimmer, no, what am I saying? Your water drops down here, seven inch cup. Okay, anyways, one, is, one of these is a return, a fuge, and a skimmer section, quite a large sump. And I think she's only looking for like, 150 I want to say normally this is well over 400 bucks so if you're looking for some come scoop this thing up got everything out of the Red Sea reefer 250 other than the fish this is Tia's crazy rock work design so this is going to be really exciting to get up and going I'm thinking we should just do Tonga branch 
But let's see what she comes up with. That's gonna be her creative control. My project this week is um, gonna get this new, what we called our sold tank in place. I have it finally done. I just have to drill it. We've got it back here in our hallway. Oh, it's kind of dark. Let me see. Let me see, give you a, oh, a little more light. So it's finally done. Um, very thick glass on this one. I just gotta do a couple holes right here if you wanna see a video on how to drill glass. I think I've done some in the past, no? I think I have. We're doing a lot of videos, so it's hard to remember what I've talked about. But this is going to get in there soon. It's going to give us a lot more room to just get organized. Six feet by 18 by 16. And what that means is that our old one that's over here, if somebody's looking for a cool little custom-made shallow frag tank that's already drilled with an overflow, this is going to be up for grabs. I don't think we're going to need it anymore. This one measures 30, 16 by 12. So if you're looking for kind of a cool little frag tank with an overflow, on this side, Eclipse eShop Small Overflow. Uh, we're probably gonna let this thing go, so hit us up if that's something you're interested in. Yeah, I jumped ahead. The reason why we had to shut down that um, Red Sea Reefer was this right here, this scary coral-eating uh, monstrosity. So I think we said it in the other video, if somebody wants him, he's free. I don't know what to do with this thing. It's kind of big, it's kind of scary. He eats corals. He's gonna end up in our sump if nobody takes him. But if you have a tank, you know, maybe fish only. I don't know. If you want this cool kind of scary looking crab, he's here, he's free before he ends up in the sump. Once he goes down there, he's going to be down there for basically eternity. So maybe you can save him if you want him. Just come pick him up from the store. Okay, COVID has messed up a lot of things in the world, including our inventory and stock levels here in the store. But we're finally more or less back to normal. Um, shelves are pretty much stocked. It was hard to get stuff for a while, but this one took especially long. This is a reef safe soap. So if you wanna wash your hands before putting your hands in the tank, this is a soap we have here in the store and we've been out of stock for almost a year. So I know we have a backlist order. A lot of people were looking for it. Finally have it back in stock in all three colors, the ocean, the black charcoal, and the white. So if you're looking to clean your hands of any oils or, or chemicals or anything, it's 100% reef safe organic soap. This is a really cool product. It's finally back in stock. So just wanna let you know. This tank up and running again, looking pretty good. I'm going to shoot an update video um, really soon. I'm gonna give you an update on what's going on with our display tank here in the store. With the exception of like one or two corals, I think it's more or less back to normal. So I'm gonna take the time to kind of walk you through my ideas moving forward and what's going on with it and the water and why I'm not too happy with ICP. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about it in another video, but quick update, looking good starting to get back on track. We're gonna get it back to its former glory. No, actually better than before. Okay, we carry a lot of different salts here in the store. So Coral Pro, this is the one we actually use on our own tanks. This is quite popular too, the Red Sea salt. A lot of people using the Aquaphor salt. I think they call it the Reef salt. And then the other one we carry is Instant Ocean, which is tried, tested and true. Very, very well-known salt. I used to use this for years, almost 10 years I was using that until Red Sea gave us um, a deal here in the store and invited us to use it on our coral beds and I'm really happy with that salt now. But we're gonna be carrying a new salt which is Tropic Marin. So that arrives on Friday. Anyone here local, or actually we're starting to ship salt as well. So that's something we haven't done before. If you're looking for Tropic Marin salt, look out for that. It's gonna be in the store and also on our website. One of our employees here uses it. It's crazy expensive. It's like $180, $109 a bucket, which is double um, even more than double than some of the other salts, but he swears by it and the guys that use it swear by it. I don't have any experience with it. I'd like to try it out and see what all the hype is about and see if it's worth the money. I don't see us running that salt here on our, our main coral beds just because of cost. Like uh, we go through a crazy amount of salt to begin with, so I can't imagine doubling the cost of our salt, but that's just something cool, something to keep an eye out for. Ah, lots of things coming back in stock. I'm um, just trying to give you updates on stuff we haven't had in a while. Tigger pods. Finally had these again, wasn't able to get them for a while. Lots and lots of pods in every single bottle. I think you can see them there, like thousands of them. So actually, because this tank is relatively new since my debacle, I'm gonna go ahead and add one whole bottle. You should probably do this at night, don't do like March, but um, it'll give them a chance to sort of hide in the tank. It's just a nice way to replenish live pods. And sadly, everything in the tank is gonna eat them. These guys are really, 
the bottom of the food chain. So corals and fish and invertebrates, but they're gonna head into the rock and then start to reproduce. I have another video, actually, I'll link it in the description on why I like using these and why you should add them to your tank, but really, really cool product. And finally got them back here in the store. So if you're looking for them, they usually don't last very long. Um, they're perishable, so they, they, they go quick. They're, gonna, they're not gonna be here too, too long at all. You guys, I know saw those other videos we just got in this nice new Australian coral shipment. The tanks are still, uh, it's moving quick. They're still pretty full but we have another enormous order of coral coming from Indonesia. That's coming next week and I'm getting a little bit nervous where we're gonna put it because this tank is still really, really full. So if you're local and you're watching this, come by and do us a favor, help clear some of this out. Uh, I'm I'm in the mood to, to move things. If you know what I mean, you know, if it's a uh, hundred bucks and you offer me 99, I ain't gonna say no, no, not, not that, that little, but I gotta move the stuff. We need to make room for Indo coming. I think it's mid next week, a nice mixture of LPS, softies, SPS, a little bit of everything really. So um, yeah, come help us uh, help you and we'll get that in. We have some room in the basement, but I'd really like to showcase all of it up here. So it looks nice when people come in and it's just packed with coral. Okay, also, if anybody wants the world's meanest fish, the Clarkies in this tank are literally from hell. Holy, they're so mean. Maybe because we took away their anemone? I'm like afraid to put my hands in here and do any work because they're just, they're just evil. They like, they like headbutt you and they bite you at the same time. Get out of here. Very hard to do any work in here. It doesn't really hurt. It's kind of like a prick. It's more that it takes you um, by surprise and, um, I remember I was snorkeling once in the Caribbean. I think it was St. Lucia or St. Thomas, and I was just coming over um, this and massive, massive anemone. I don't know if it was Clarkies, maybe Clarkies or tomato clowns, but they started biting my forehead. And then when I came up, my friend was like, oh, you're bleeding, because they literally, with their little stupid cartilage teeth, they took um, like little little nips out of my forehead. But anyways, that's my sidetrack of the day. And our, the entire videos are sidetracked, who am I kidding? But anyways, you want some really, really mean Clarkies, I'm gonna give you these next to nothing. They're here in the store, I wanna get rid of them. Very, very mean fish. Why can't they all be friendly like these? Why can't you all be just nice chromis and just get along, you know? We ordered some mermaid fan and I was really excited to get it in. It doesn't look so hot, man. This one is like, e, not so good. This one, also not the most amazing. It's kind of hard for us to get these weird macroalgae. I was really, really excited to get them in, but these came in nice. If you're looking for a really cute, tiny, long spine urchin. Normally these things come in the size of baseballs. These are really small, like golf balls, great algae eaters. And our red emerald crabs finally back in stock. It's something we haven't had in a long time. It's like the green ones over here, the classic algae munching green emeralds, but it's the red variety and cousin. And these as well. I'm gonna give you one more little invert vlog update over here. These are the harlequin shrimp. You can see they're munching down on a poor piece of uh, fromia that we had to um, give them something to, to eat, but we don't we don't get these in terribly often and they're looking really good. They're a lot bigger than the normal. I got two, maybe three. Is there one behind there? Yeah, three of them left and they're not fighting. These ones have all paired up. So if you're looking for a way to eat Astrina starfish, which I'm not convinced are all that bad, I'm gonna link in the description a uh, video to Astrina starfish and why I don't think they're bad. But if you're looking to get rid of them, these things will definitely do the job. What else is going on in here? Tia is setting up a very large T5 fixture. This is a new Sun Power, eight bulb, 80 watt, very high power fixture that nobody uses anymore. T5 is dead. Nah. Okay, almost dead. It's okay. Hybrid. Hybrid is still kicking, but it's not like it was before. This used to be the industry standard. This is what you set up over a coral tank. I'm setting it up in the basement over one of our farm systems. Just gonna get this hooked up. We'll talk about it in another video. You guys already know I'm old school. I love T5. It's gonna be this ATI Sun Power with a pair of reef brights on the side. Actually, it's the exact same combo we're running over here on our SPS tank. This is it over here. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I can do a dedicated video talking about why I love it. Um, has a couple downsides, but in terms of coloring up and growing coral, still my favorite by far. Here in the basement as well, T5 Reef Bright. What do you know? T5 Reef Bright. You know what though? Uh, if I could redo it again over this tank, this is our kind of incoming coral system tank. It is really, really shallow. This thing is only uh, seven inches, so maybe six inches with the, with the water line. I probably would have gone with the six bulb maybe even the four bulb. As you see here, I'm not even running two of them. So six bulbs on, 
the par is really intense. It's very strong. Maybe as the bulbs get older, they do get a little bit weaker. I might kick on the other two, but some of the corals are not terribly happy. So you can see this acan over here in the corner. Acans don't like a tremendous amount of light. Not too happy. Um, some of the zoas not not too happy. So uh, I may have to rethink what I'm doing with this light, or or just run them less strong because this is going to be mostly softies and LTS, and it's simply too much light, too powerful. So a little bit of a uh, Poor planning there on my part. Okay, coffee break, but I don't know how Tia likes her coffee. Let's call her. Let's prank call Tia. Hello, do you sell coral frags? No, we don't. How do Sorry, you? Drinking water. How do you take your coffee? Oh, um, right now just my okay. I might run over and get some. black. Black. Okay, Mr. Diggs, what do you think? We'll wrap up this vlog update. Yeah, does that look good? Is it look good enough for one episode? Oh my goodness, what is this? Look at this. You know, um, you know, girls gone wild. This is Tia gone wild. She's wilding out. She's doing some crazy, crazy, crazy aquascape. No, no, just a little preview for the next episode. Looking good. You know what? Yeah, we'll leave it. We won't talk too much about that. She's getting, she's getting into her artistic, onto her creative side. I guess she's always into her creative side. But that's it, guys. If you like the channel, if you like the nonsense, if you like the corals, if you're not tired of hearing me, blah 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 about this kind of stuff, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give us that thumbs up. We try to do a video here every single day of the week. That's seven videos a week, if your math is good or you know how a week works. Um, but that's it guys, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you back here tomorrow, manana. Thanks, have a good night.